WNBC TV, New York. Students from south side of Rockville Center, Regis, and Baldwin High Schools compete today on its academic. And our opening question is, the nucleus of the collection of books at the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. was the library of what noted American? Good evening, I'm Art James, and the answer to our opening question is, the nucleus of the collection of books at the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., was the library of the noted statesman, Thomas Jefferson. Welcome to It's Academic, the weekly program in which teams from three high schools in the metropolitan area compete against each other, both in the field of general knowledge and academic subjects. Now today, our game is special. Our winning uh, schools of the last three weeks meet in a playoff, but the objective remains the same to compile the highest score and to win for its school this set of the great books of the Western world, 54 volumes containing the wisdom of 30 centuries. Now, the schools of our other two teams will receive the gateway to the world, all furnished by the Encyclopedia Britannica. Now here are the rules for round one. Each team will be asked up to 10 questions and have one minute to answer as many questions as it can. Each correct answer earns 10 points for the team. Our timing will be by our electric clocks, which have been set for the determined amount of time. If a team answers all 10 questions correctly, it receives a bonus of 50 points. All questions have been carefully researched and checked. Now, in addition, three faculty members. We have Miss Mary Jane McNamara, Father William McCusker, SJ, and Mr. Martin Kilcommons, who will act as official scorekeepers. And now to introduce our teams. Team one from Southside High School, Rockville Center. Gene Bishop, Captain Mike Kronstadt, and Eddie Weeks. <laughs> Team two, Regis High School. Donald McCabe, Captain John Posh, and Albert Mortola. <laughs> Team three from Baldwin High School. Lawrence Eilenberg, Captain Peter Maybeck, and Stephen Wexler. Team positions were determined by lot before the program. Team number one, Southside, are you ready? Yes. Ready. They are ready. And now Captain John of Regis High School, will you select the first packet of questions? Six. He chooses number six. And round number one now begins. Which weighs more, cream or skim milk? Skim milk. That's the correct answer. The first atomic submarine was called the Nautilus. The first atomic American merchant ship has the same name as a large coastal city in Savannah. the state of Georgia. Savannah. Savannah. Savannah is correct. In this novel by Charles Dickens, the title character has a last name which should be familiar to today's teenage dancers. What's the novel? Twist. Oliver, Oliver Twist. Twist. Now, Roger Kipling had long used a certain design for his personal emblem, but when the Nazi party in Germany adopted it for themselves, Kipling would have no more to do with it. What design or emblem was Swastika. it? Swastika. Right. In medieval times, some men spent their lives trying to change ordinary metals into gold and trying to find a universal cure for disease. What is this kind of work called? Alchemy. Alchemy, Alchemy is right. What letter is the most often used in English words? Of e. All E is the, the letter E is correct. When someone speaks of the Hottentots, is he referring to a non-existent African people or a tribe of small, slender, yellow-brown Africans or a tribe of very tall jungle people? The third one. The second one, small, slender, yellow-brown African tribe. And the time is up for Southside. They have a total of 60 points. We now move to Regis High School. Regis, are you ready? Yes. yes. They're ready. And now Peter, captain of Baldwin, selects the packet of questions. Packet two. He chooses number two. Regis is set. 
And here we go. For 10 points, when Virginia joined the Confederacy, some of its counties refused to go along. They seceded and formed what state? West, West Virginia. Virginia. Right. In scientific talk and writing these days, the numbers 93 million and 240,000 have become familiar. Distances to the sun and moon. moon. Right, in miles. When men drown at sea, what popular phrase, which includes the name of a man, is used to designate their grave? Maybe the Jones Locker. Locker. Right. Now then, these three men, Charles Guiteau, John Booth, and Leon Cholgosh all committed the same kind of... Assassinating the president. Each shot and killed the president of the United States. If the bouquet of leaves you picked in the woods turned out to be Toxicodendron vernix, would you arrange them, arrange them in a vase, sell them to a rare plant collector, or throw them away quickly throw and scrub them? Right, it's poison ivy, poison oak. Which of America's best-known poets during his 18 years as professor of Harvard University wrote many popular poems? One's a long narrative about an American Indian chief. Longfellow. Longfellow is right. The shapes of Texas, Alaska, and West Virginia have one geographic feature in common. A strip of land projecting from the main body Pan shaped... Panhandle. Panhandle is right. And Regis finishes with a total of 70 points. <laughs> now to complete the first round of questioning, it's Baldwin Senior High School's turn. Team, are you ready? Yes. Ready. They're set. And now Mike Captain of Southside selects the packet. Thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> It never fails. Somebody chooses 13. But now, here we go. First question. Pandora of Greek mythology succumbed one day to the same strong trait of character and intellect that cats are said to possess. Curiosity. 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 Who was this Russian scientist who observed that dogs secrete... Pavlov. Uh, Ivan Pavlov. Hitler's ideal or hero was Napoleon. Napoleon's ideal was an ancient military genius, young man who had conquered Caesar. the... Caesar. Wrong. Alexander the Great of Macedonia. Next question. Jim Thorpe. In uh, 1950, was named the greatest football player of all time. What was his ancestry? English, Scotch, Irish, American Indian, Indian. or German? Indian. American Indian, Indian is right. Only within the past hundred years was the food value of love apples discovered. They'd been brought to the U.S. from South America, were believed to be poisonous. What do we call them? Love apples. Yes. Answer is tomatoes. The temperatures of stars are indicated by their colors, with blue being the hottest, red the coolest. By this standard, is our sun hot, medium, or cool? Medium. Mm -hmm. Right, yellow. One of the best known stories Bret Hart wrote about the West is called The Luck of Roaring Camp. Who or what was the luck? An old man, pet cat, a baby? A baby. baby. No, it was a divining rod. You didn't let me finish them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's my mistake. Baby is the correct answer. And their time is up, and they receive 50 points. So the first round is over. And the totals are Southside Senior High School, 60, Regis High School, 70, and Baldwin Senior High, 50 points. And now we come to this word before we begin the second round of questioning. We'll be back in one minute. Watch. And now we come to the second round of questioning. The same rules apply, but this time if a team passes a question, it is penalized half the point value of the question. At the end of the period, the pass question is given to the other two teams. If it answers incorrectly, it's penalized the entire point value. If a team answers correctly, it receives the point value. Well, Southside Senior High School team number one, are you ready? ready? They say yes. John, captain of Regis High School, select the questions. Twelve. He chooses packet number 12. And the second round. Now begins. The address, 221B Baker Street, became very famous as the residence Sherlock of... Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes in London. In 1908, John... Uh, I'm sorry, Henry Ford introduced the first Tin Lizzie, the auto that changed life in America. What was the famous car model? Model T. Right. Mamelukes, Janizaries, and Hessians are mentioned with respect, indeed with fear, in the records of their times. What do these three groups of men have in common? They were mercenary soldiers. Professional soldiers, right. Now for our slide question. Look to your monitor. Here is a picture of Rome being invaded in the 5th century. Who was the famous leader of the Huns who sacked the city? Attila. Right. The name of this gas is Latin for sun element because it was observed on the sun Helium. before... Helium. Helium. Which one of the following southern states did not secede from the Union? Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Kentucky. Kentucky. Right. What major music scale contains no sharps or flats? It's key of C. C major. When World War II began, Europe had dictators in Germany, Russia, Italy, and Spain. Only one of these men is still in power. Give his name. Spain. Franco. 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 Francisco Franco. According to Greek mythology, the souls of the dead had to cross the river of the underworld in their... The Styx. River of Styx. A woodcutter wanted to clean the rust from all the plane surfaces of a wedge he used to split blocks. How many plane surfaces would he have to clean? Three. That's the wrong answer. The answer is five. five. 
And that completes the questions for the second round. For Southside Senior High School, they now have a total of 140 points. We move now to Regis. Is Regis ready? Yes. They say yes. And now, Peter, Captain of Baldwin, select the questions. Number seven. He chooses seven. And the second round for Regis now begins. Here we go. If you describe the characteristics of an animal as ichthyic, would it be a bird, a fish, or fish. a mammal? Fish is right. What country, uh, named for a world-famous explorer, is the only country in South America that has sea coasts on both the Pacific and Caribbean Sea? Colombia. Right. In World War I, a variety of poison gases were used, but a most disastrous gas had the same name as a commonly used yellow condiment. What's the name? Chlorine. Mustard gas is the answer. Now for our slide question. Look over to your monitors. Here is a picture of a port which, together with Genoa, was called the gateway to Asia in Columbus's time. Venice. Name it. Venice. Sorry. Venice is right. Daniel Defoe, Sir Walter Raleigh, and Adolf Hitler all wrote their most famous book under similar conditions. What was the situation? In Plains. Right. Electrons which boil off the hot filament in a cathode tube can be made to smash into a metal target. The energy given off, irradiated, is in the form of which of these? Heat rays, X-rays, light rays. X-rays. Right, or gamma rays. What first lady never got the opportunity to preside as mistress of the White House? She was ill during the 31 days her husband was president. William Henry Harrison's wife. Anna Harrison. The song says, on the road to Mandalay where the flying fishes play. Is Mandalay a river town in central Burma? Yes. It is. What great Russian literary figure best known for his novel War and Peace? Tolstoy. Was... Tolstoy. Right. A pie which is five inches in diameter priced at 25 cents. What would be the proper price, based on relative areas, for a 10-inch pie of the same thickness? Um, a dollar. dollar. One dollar. The area is four times as much. And so Regis finishes their second round of questioning, and they have a total of 150 points. Baldwin Senior High School, are you ready for your question? They're ready. Mike, Captain of Southside. 17. He picks the number 17 as the packet of questions. Second round, here we go. Which of the following famous women is not an American? Clara Barton, Jane Addams, Florence Nightingale. Florence Nightingale. Right. Is the ulna bone found on the head, the forearm, the leg, or the neck? Pass. Who was the Polish patriot who gave his life for America during the Revolutionary War? Okay. Famous highway. They uh, pass. Well, we now we come to our slide question. This will appear in the monitor. Watch this. Here is an arch named after the first Roman emperor to become a Christian and to establish this religion as official for the empire. Name him. Constantine. Constantine is right. A signature written across one end of the back of a check is called? Endorsement. Right. Steel is sometimes made by use of the Bessemer converter, but about 90% of the steel in this country is made by another method. Name it. Pass. In 1796, this man was chosen president by the electors 71 to 68, so that his opponents called him president by three votes. Who was he? John Adams. Right. What 19th century American writer went to jail rather than pay a tax to support the Mexican War, which he felt was wrong? He's best known for his retreat to a small pond in Massachusetts. Uh, Thoreau. Henry Thoreau. What popular dance of the 1920s and 30s took its name from a famous solo flight of the Atlantic Ocean, New York to Paris? Lindbergh something. That's wrong. The Lindy Hop is the name of the dance. Using his real first name, Charles, instead of his nickname, Sonny, what Arabic number is equivalent to the Roman numerals formed by the first and last initials? There's not enough information there to answer that question. The time is up for Baldwin Senior High School. We have past questions. Regis High School wishes to answer. Open hearth. Open hearth is the other uh, method of making steel other than Bessemer converter. Southside wishes to answer another past the question. Is in the arm. The ulna bone is found in the forearm, correct. There's one other past question. The Polish patriot has gave his life for America. Highway is named after him. Southside, which is answer? Pulaski. Count Pulaski is the correct answer. And so the second round of questioning ends. And the totals are Southside Senior High School, 140 points. Regis High School, 160. Baldwin, 75. And now we come to the third and final round. The same rules. But now the teams are allowed to double the point value of the questions, making all questions in the pack worth 20 points. This gives a losing team a chance to catch up. Remember, however, double the penalties if the team misses or passes a question. Team number one, Southside, are you ready? Double. They're ready and they double. John, Captain of Regis, select the questions. 11. He chooses 11. 
Let's see if it proves lucky. The third round begins. Here we go. Washington Irving described this president as a withered little apple because he weighed only 100 pounds. He was also known as the father of the Constitution. Who was he? Adams. James Madison is the answer. What high country of Central Asia, whose name starts with a T, is often Tibet. called... Pardon? Tibet. Tibet is the right answer. Which of the following offices has former Vice President Richard Nixon not held? Congressman, Senator, Governor, Vice President? Governor. Right. Come to our slide question. Look to your monitor. Identify this Swedish heavyweight champion. Ingemar Johansson is right. What do we call wood in which the organic matter has been replaced by minerals over a long period of Petrified time? Wood. Petrified wood. Petrified wood, right. Sometimes certain body changes in a person are recorded and deciphered by a machine called a polygraph, pathometer, or psychodetectometer. What do most people call these machines? A lie detector. Right. If there are nine zeros in a billion, twelve zeros in a trillion, how many in a quadrillion? Fifteen. Right. The first manuscript of this poem by Edgar Allan Poe was only 17 lines long. Named this famous exercise in onomatopoeia, in which he coined the word tintinabulation. The bells. Right. The early American settler's wife took the residue from water, slowly poured over wood ashes, added it to grease, saved from cooking. soap. Making soap, right. The ruins of the ancient cities of Nineveh, Babylon, and Ur are all in the Tigris-Euphrates River area. Which one, the capital of ancient Assyria, would be found on the Tigris? We pass. They pass, and that completes the questions for Southside Senior High School. Regis wishes to answer the past question. Nineveh. Nineveh would be found on the Tigris, right, ancient capital of uh, Assyria. Southside Senior High School now has 270 points after the third round of questions. Regis now comes to their third round. We'll double. We double. They double. Peter, captain of Baldwin, select the packet. Number 19. He chooses 19. And here we go. How many cookies do you get in a baker's dozen? Thirteen. Right. The Soviet Union lies partly in Asia, partly in Europe. What mountains separate Soviet Europe? Urals. Urals. Ural Mountains. Does the sprayed odor of a skunk reach its victim by a process called expansion, diffusion, or effusion? Diffusion. diffusion. Right. Now for your slide question. Look to your monitor. <laughs> Identify this great American aviatrix who went down in the Pacific. Amelia Earhart. Right. What American Supreme Court justice, son of a famous author, was often called the great dissenter, noted for his liberal decisions? Will pass. To what emperor were these three women married? Cornelia, Pompeia, Calpurnia? Caesar. Caesar. Right. What name, suggesting atrocity and cruel killing, did American colonists give to the episode in March 1770 in which five colonials were shot by the Boston British? Boston Massacre. Right. Dr. Mesmer of Vienna brought into notice an art or technique that became... Hypnosis. Hypnosis. Multiple choice. How many different pairs may be formed from a collection of the five objects? Eight, ten, twenty, a hundred and twenty. 20. The answer is 10. What are the two cities that figure prominently in Charles Dickens' tale of two cities? Paris and London. Correct. And that completes the questions for Regis. They have 290 points. We had a past question. Baldwin. Holmes. Uh, 310 points is their total. I'm sorry. Baldwin Senior High School was first with their life for the past question. Holmes. Oliver Wendell Holmes was the Supreme Court Justice often called the Great Dissenter. That is correct. And so... We now come to Baldwin Senior High School for their third round questions. They are ready. Do you double team? Yes. They do double. Mike, would you select the packet? Four. The captain of Southside chooses number four for Baldwin Senior High School to answer. If you're all set, here we go. Does the word labial refer to ears, eyes, nose, lips, or throat? Lips. Right. As a room is darkened, does the pupil of the eye become smaller, larger, close completely, or show no change? Oh, larger. You are right. The Italian city of Venice is built upon more than a hundred small islands in a shallow lagoon. Upon what sea does this lagoon open? Adriatic. Adriatic is right. Now for your slide question. Look to your monitor. Identify this golf champion from Atlanta, Georgia, who won the Grand Slam, British and U.S. Open and Amateur titles in 1930. Uh, pass. pass. They pass. In 1950, the boundary line across which the North Koreans launched their attack against UN forces was what latitude parallel? 38. Right. In what branch of the fine arts, architecture, painting, music, or dancing, have the following men made outstanding reputations? Kandinsky, Franz Klein, Brock, Ruault. Pass. They pass. Torquemada, a chief figure in the Spanish Inquisition, is named in a story by Edgar Allan Poe about the Inquisition. What's the story? Pit in the pendulum. Right. The Earth makes a complete revolution in 24 hours. Through how many degrees does it turn in two hours? Oh. 30. 30. Right. If you went to Windsor, England to view a certain sporting event, 
Would you see the boat races, the international lawn tennis, or the Royal Horse Show? Royal Horse Show. You are correct. One of the main fuels used for heating in northern Europe is stripped from the top of the earth where it lies a spongy vegetation and soggy, thick mats. Heat. What's it called? Peat. Peat is the correct answer. We have past questions. Southside Senior High School. The golfer is Hogan. The golfer is Bobby Jones. We had one other past question. These names uh, apply to what branch of the fine arts? Kandinsky, Klein, Brock, Ruald, Southside. Painting. Painting is right. And that completes the third round. Yes. The totals are Southside, 270. Regis, 310. Baldwin, 235. <laughs> we'll be back in one minute with the grab bag portion of the show, but first we have this message for you. Watch. Well, the outcome is still in doubt because now we come to the grab bag question period. In this free-for-all, the team answering first gets 20 points. But if you answer incorrectly, 20 points is deducted from the score. Press your buzzers to be recognized. Oh, are they ready? Move fast and speak up. And now we begin the grab bag portion. Here we go. What former occupation of singer Perry Como was also the trait of the opera Barber. character Figaro Baldwin? Barber. Barber is right. In what war did George Washington gain his first military experience? Southside. French and Indian War. Right, or Seven Years' War. Name the wizard in King Arthur's Court of Camelot. Baldwin. Merlin. Right. How many days are there in a leap year? Baldwin. 366. Right. What was the common name meaning divine wind in Japanese given to Japanese pilots whose sole mission was a suicidal crash dive, Regis? Kamikaze. Right. What's the only major sport supposed to be completely American in origin invented? Yes, Regis. Basketball. Basketball is right. What pressure in millimeters of mercury is equal to atmosphere? 760. 760 equals one atmosphere. Yeah, that first. Dr. Tom Dooley. Worked in Laos, the headquarters of what world-renowned figure have for many years been located at Lamborghini? Yes. Schweitzer. Dr. Albert Schweitzer. What are the three prime factors of 50? One of these numbers is used twice. Regis. Five, five, and three. Two, two, two. two. Five, five, and two is the correct answer. All of the 13 original colonies were settled in the 17th century except one. Yes, Regis. Georgia. Georgia is right. What famous Ladies' Day did the newspaper column My Day concern? Uh, the writer began it. Yes, Southside. Eleanor what famous ladies? Uh, Eleanor Roosevelt. Uh, Mrs. Eleanor Franklin D. Roosevelt, right. Visible particles, particles of regular geometric form are called isotopes, crystals, alpha particles. Salt crystals. Side. Crystals is right. According to the old-time favorite song, one of the finest girls the state of Carolina has ever produced was named? Uh, yes. Sweet Georgia Brown. Dinah is the correct oh, answer, oh, Regis. Yeah. For what presidential candidate of the 1920s was a brown derby a trademark? Al Smith. Al Smith is right. In the popular legend, Dick Whittington started as a destitute orphan boy. There was also a real Dick Whittington. Lord Mayor of London. Right. The maple leaf, the fleur-de-lis, and the lion are symbols representing the political history of what country on its shield, Regis? Canada. Canada's right. How does the volume of a 16-inch cube compare with the volume of an 8-inch cube? How much larger? So, so Eight I, times. Right. Yeah. Eugene O'Neill's Emperor Jones convinced his subject that he could be killed only by one particular object. Silver, Silver bullet. Silver bullet is right. Both rubies and sapphires are corundum, an oxide of what well-known metal? Aluminum. Aluminum is right. In what European capital will you find a famous street lined with government buildings called Whitehall? Regis. London. Right. What was Jacqueline Kennedy's name before she married Senator John F. Kennedy? Bouvier. Jacqueline Bouvier, what's the only crime defined in the United States Constitution? Treason. Treason, Southside says. <laughs> and that's the end of it. We'll be back with the final tally in one minute after this message. Watch. Well, it was w well fought, and it was a very tight game. The final tally is Baldwin Senior High School, 295. Regis High School, 450, our winner from Rockville Center with 470, Southside Senior High School. You know, two characteristics are common among students representing their schools on this academic. They think it's important to have extensive and accurate knowledge. And secondly, they have an intense interest and curiosity and feel they must learn as much as possible of the world around them. Congratulations to all three teams, who, as usual, impressed us with their knowledge in so many fields. Now, next week, three high schools from the New York area, Abraham Lincoln, William Howard Taft, and Midwood, will compete on its academic. And we'll see you then. This is our James saying bye-bye. <laughs>